police blocked off the streets close to the church as they searched for weapons and explosives. Two men armed with knives had entered the building in saint Etienne de Rouvray as the priest was celebrating mass. Five people were then taken hostage and the priest, named as Father Jacques Hamel, who was in his 80s, was killed. Another person was seriously injured. A security alert was launched and police surrounded the church. The two attackers were shot dead. The French president has travelled to the scene and has blamed the attack on supporters of ISIL. We're faced with one more threat and the threat remains very high. After everything we've gone through in the last few days and even the last few years, we're faced with Daesh, a group that has declared war on us. We must fight this war by all means by respecting the law. We are a democracy. What these terrorists wish to do is to divide us. The attack comes as France is already living under a state of emergency. Just 12 days ago, 84 people were killed when a man deliberately drove his truck through a crowd celebrating Bastille Day in Nice. And the country is still reeling after November's deadly attacks by ISIL in Paris. Security has been increased with more troops deployed throughout France. The Vatican has condemned this latest act of violence. The fact that this episode has taken place in a church, killing a priest, a minister of the Lord and involving the faithful is something that profoundly affects us. It is an offence to a holy site and it is something terrible to our sentiments and to our religious sentiments. Local media is reporting that one of the attackers in saint Etienne de Rouvray was on a security watch list. Anti-terrorism prosecutors will now lead the investigation to try to establish exactly what happened. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera.